Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on downloading 2D mapping data from OpenStreetMap and importing this data into CAD software. OpenStreetMap is a free editable map of the world for which you can download 2D and also 3D data from which you can use within your projects. For this tutorial we'll be looking at downloading 2D data from this map and importing into Rhino for use as a site plan or kind of setting up a map within Rhino. Now I've just gone on to OpenStreetMap here and we've got a map of London and I'm going to find my particular site I want to download my map data from. So we're going to zoom in here to this area of Lambeth Bridge and we're going to download some 2D data from this area. Once you've selected your area that you want to get your 2D mapping data from, if we go to the right hand side to this share button here, select that and under the format we're going to select PDF and then under the scale we're just going to make a note of the scale we're exporting at. You can set the scale to whatever you want it to be but just make a note of what that scale is because we'll need to rescale it once we bring it into our specific CAD software. So once we've got that we'll hit download and that has now downloaded this map for here as a PDF. If I open that up you'll be able to see that map PDF there. Now what we need to do then is we need to bring that into Rhino. So in my Rhino file I'm going to go to my top view so we can just look at this from top down and we're going to go file, import and locate that mapping PDF. Select open. Now where the, it says the units here, we can then set this to rescale automatically to the size we require in our Rhino file. My Rhino file is currently set to millimeters, and remember that whenever we're bringing in mapping data or any data to use in CAD software, we want to be working in CAD at a one-to-one -one scale. Now, because my PDF is at a scale of one to 5,550, I'll know that one millimeter in my PDF should equal 5,550 millimeters in Rhino because that's the scale we exported the PDF at. So it's really important to make sure you know the scale that you're bringing out your PDF from OpenStreetMap as it says in that kind of box when we download it so you can then rescale it as it comes in to Rhino. So once that's set we hit OK and then what it will be is it might be quite large for your screen so if that's the case you can just hit this zoom selected button here to zoom out to the map we've selected and you'll see with OpenStreetMaps you sometimes get these kind of larger boundary areas which might be kind of boundary lines or parish boundaries or kind of district boundaries within that map there and here you can see we now have that map data downloaded in to our Rhino file. Now a good thing to do when you've brought in this data is to always check the measurements and the scale before you start working. Sometimes there can be inconsistencies even if you think you've got the right scale from bringing it from OpenStreetMap into your Rhino file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the line tool here and we're just going to do a line from one end side of this bridge to the other and that's telling me that that's about 40 if we look at the kind of dimensions down here at the bottom of the screen just in this box at the bottom it's telling me that this is a roughly 40 meters or 40,000 millimeters wide now that sounds to me that it's a little bit too wide for this I think that's coming at a slightly larger scale so what I usually do is I'll then go to Google Maps and find the same location on Google Maps and if you right click on Google Maps you can go measure distance here and just draw a point from there to the other side of the bridge and that's telling me that should be about 20 meters so it seems that my site map here has come in twice the size of it needs to be because it's telling me that it's 40 meters so what I'm going to do is we're just before we start working we're just going to select all this data here we're going to use the scale tool scale 2d select any point on the map and then we're just going to scale it by a scale factor of 0.5 so it's half the size there. and then just as one last test we'll draw another line across the bridge and that's at about 20 meters which matches the Google so I'm fairly confident that this map is now to scale now from this point 
we've got our map into our CAD format, but at the moment all of our objects are currently on the same layer. They're on this default layer. So what we'll need to do is we're going to need to start splitting the layers of these objects up so we can more easily work with them in the Rhino file. Now the easiest way to do this is because Digimaps colours each of the lines and hatches based upon what that object is. So you'll see here that red buildings are one type of building. We've got a kind of brown line for certain buildings. We've got this kind of orangey line for the road. Every line has a specific colour based on its function. And if you want to know what each of those colours refer to, we can go back to our OpenStreetMaps. And if we open up the legend here, you can see there on the right hand side that it tells us what each of those line types are. So we can cross reference back and forth from the OpenStreetMaps file back to our file we've imported in so we can see what type of buildings are what. Now in order to kind of redistribute these layers onto their, or these lines sorry, onto their correct layers, we can select a line there. And if we type in select colour here, it will then select all the lines that match that colour of the line we've selected. With those now selected, we can make a new layer. I'm going to call this building outline. Make this a brand new colour so we can see it clearly. And in the properties, we're just going to change the layer of these lines to our building outline. Now one other important function when changing the layer of these lines is to also make sure that the display colour is to by layer and all these other points, the print width, the print colour and the line type are all set to by layer. What this means is when you go to then export your drawings as PDFs later down the line, they will follow whatever settings you've set to that particular layer and can have that correct line weight and correct display colour when we go to print the drawing out. So it's important you make sure these are all set to by layer when we change these lines. And what you have there is that we've then taken that building outline and we put it on its own layer. And what you'll then need to do is for each of the layers that are important to you within this Digimap, so you can extract each of those layers out and put it on its own layer here for use within your drawing. Now, if you want to watch any other drawings on setting up 2D drawings in Rhino, please feel free to watch some of my videos on the channel that go through this in a bit more detail. But that was just a quick tutorial on how to bring Digimaps data into Rhino and scale it so you can work with it at the correct scale in your CAD files. Thank you for watching.